Hey folks, welcome. Here we discuss real stories by real people. Today we have the story of a man who finds out his wife has a boyfriend. Let's see how it goes. Story 1. Obligatory mention that all names are fake. I 26 male met my wife 25 Vanessa at work when I was 19. We've always been really close. We're expecting our first child soon. I was led to believe that anyway. Last week, I found out Vanessa's been sleeping with her co-worker Phil, 25, for the better part of a year. I found his hat in her car. I asked Vanessa about it. She told me she didn't know where it came from. I asked several times if she gave someone a ride home. Told her I wouldn't care if that's all she did. She denied it. So, I dug around on Vanessa's social media. I saw she had recently added a guy named Phil from work. Guess who was wearing the hat in his profile picture? I asked him if he knew her. He said yes, she's his girlfriend. I told him she's also mine. He apologized. Said that he'd had no idea she had a boyfriend at home. I believe him. I confronted Vanessa. She didn't want to leave my house. My sister Renee 21 came over. They argued a bit. Renee called her some choice words. Then she left. My first instinct was to out Vanessa at work. So the next day, I showed up at work. I asked Vanessa's co-worker to speak to her boss. When her boss allowed me in his office, I told him what Vanessa had been doing. He just stared at me and said it's none of his business. However, Vanessa got the news I had come by, so she called me, of course, really mad. I told her I don't care. She broke my heart. I truly hope she loses her job. I already feel like I don't love her anymore, as crazy as that may sound. I also let Vanessa know that I'm pretty sure the kid she's carrying isn't mine. That crushes me. She assured me the baby is, but I can't believe anything she says anymore. I told her that before I signed the birth certificate, that I want a paternity test. Vanessa blew up. Not much I can do, though. I talked to Renee. She said that if I want, she'll make a pass at Phil to make Vanessa mad. Renee's very pretty. I told her not to worry about it. I don't think he'll be calling Vanessa anytime soon. I also don't want to add any more drama to the poor guy's life. Don't judge Renee too harshly. She's just mad on my account. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong, am I? Update. So, Vanessa had the baby. As soon as we could, we had the paternity test. The results recently came back. The baby isn't mine. I don't know if it's Phil's or not either. Admittedly, I'm relieved. I don't want any more ties to Vanessa. She admitted she'd been pretty sure her child wasn't mine anyway. Vanessa's mother, a single mother herself, wasn't thrilled to hear that. Also, Vanessa lost her job. Turned out Phil wasn't having it that Vanessa was two-timing. So he decided to hand in his resignation with one stipulation under which he would stay, transferring Vanessa. Turns out their boss liked Phil a lot better than Vanessa, so she was transferred. But since she was pregnant and the new office was a two-hour commute, that meant she'd quit, of course. I haven't really started dating yet. I do have someone that I have feelings for, though, and she reciprocates. Not sure when I'll be ready for more. Vanessa's grandparents also reached out to apologize to me. I assured them all of this is solely Vanessa's fault. They agreed. I also talked to Phil. He hasn't spoken to Vanessa and doesn't plan to. He introduced me to the girl I like. He also met my sister. I think they might even be smitten for real. I'm hoping so anyway. All in all, life's pretty good. I do want to have kids someday. I'll just find someone better than Vanessa to have kids with. I'm not going to let this bring me down. I'm sorry this happened to you, OP. I would say you dodged a bullet on this one. I'm glad you don't have to take care of a child that isn't yours. Vanessa knew the child isn't yours, and yet I'm certain if you didn't bring up the paternity test, she would have happily made you the father of the child. Phil should definitely ask for a paternity test too. I hope you find someone better than Vanessa to have kids with someday. Take care, OP. Story 2 My 23 male girlfriend 22 just told me kind of out of the blue that she cheated on me a few weeks ago. 
Unfortunately, our relationship is long distance in nature since a couple of months into our relationship due to her educational commitments. We both find that hard, but we've managed. We spent Thanksgiving together on a beautiful holiday which we both had fun on. I only got back a couple of days ago. Apparently this happened a few weeks before then, when we were going through a rough time. She was very stressed about college work, and at the same time I was at a very busy period at work, so was working quite late. I understand that this wasn't ideal, but I surely shouldn't have to fear that every time I hit a busy couple of weeks at work, I should fear for my relationship. She apparently kissed, made out with, and attempted sex with the guy before deciding not to. Then again tried to have sex again after a while and anal sex, but still couldn't bring herself to do it properly. All over the course of one night. I'm honestly just so confused. She says it was a mistake and that she's sorry and obviously she must care about me in some way deeply, or else the guilt wouldn't have gotten the better of her. I'm not sure what to do, or how to even address this. I'm gonna talk to her this evening, but I don't know what to say. Please, can you give me some advice on what to say and how to come to a decision on what I should do? You have to decide if cheating is a deal breaker for you or not, OP. Your girlfriend met up with a guy, kissed him, and attempted to have sex with him twice, and then she spent days with you without confessing. This means she's perfectly capable of doing it again and you wouldn't know. If you feel you can look past all of this, then sure, tell her not to do it again and continue the relationship. But if you can't look past it, then end it. Now for some comments. The decision is that you should not give your girlfriend another chance. Break up. You are way too young to continue a broken relationship. There are cases where you can work through this, but mostly when you spend decades with your partner and don't want to throw away a marriage. But you're too young. Break up and date someone who doesn't disrespect you like that. You need to refine the relationship to her becoming your ex-girlfriend. You say she was guilty, but somehow she was able to spend Thanksgiving with you just fine. So much for actual guilt. The fact that she tried it once, then went back for a second try, seriously says she doesn't value you or a faithful relationship with you. Especially willing to do anal with him. Does she do that with you? Dump her hard and get with someone who lives in the same city as you. If my girlfriend cheated, then she would become my ex. No ifs or buts. You deserve better than being disrespected because someone thinks they can get away with it. They're always sorry, but they usually do it again, and that goes for men and women. She waited weeks and spent Thanksgiving with you first. Clearly the guilt wasn't that heavy. I wouldn't be able to look at my girlfriend if I cheated because I would feel so awful. Yet she can play it off including whilst seeing you for nearly a month? She wants your forgiveness for herself. Not because she cares about you as best as I can tell, just wants the weight off her shoulders. Story 3 Been with my girlfriend 35 for 5 years. When we met, she told me, 35 male, she had a bad past with men and only been in one serious relationship and that was with a man in his 50s. He was giving her money, getting her nails done, etc. Another thing is, she's bipolar and depression. Her mother and siblings have mental health issues too. Father was a drug addict. Anyway, everything was okay until she cheated in 2017. We had two big arguments and didn't speak for only two days during both arguments, and she cheated both times with some dude she used to mess around with. How I found out was because when me and her spoke again, I asked if she had been with anyone and that's when she told me. She claimed it was because she didn't know if I really loved her and that I said some things that made her question it during the argument. Both these arguments were in the same month. I was pissed off and hurt, but wind up forgiving her. After this happened, she wanted to spend more time with me and was extremely sexual and passionate. She actually wanted to have sex the next day after what she did, but I told her no because I was upset about what she did. She proceeded to give me a BJ instead anyway. So I forgave her and she changed her number and also wound up getting the call for the new apartment she had applied for. She wanted to move out of the small mental health apartment building she lives in. So she moved to the new apartment at the end of 2017. Ever since she's moved, she's been more attached to me than before and told me she loves me and she's sorry for what happened in the past, 
and wants me to move in with her. I told her I'm not ready to move in yet until I'm in a better financial situation. She doesn't know how anybody in this new area, new apartment which is way better in a regular apartment. Nobody she messed around with in the past lives anywhere near this area. She said she doesn't care about that and gave me the key to her apartment anyway. I don't live there but do go visit her and stay nights there. She visits me too. I just wonder if our relationship would be the same if she didn't move. Even when we have arguments now, we don't go days without talking and they're handled better than the past. They do get out of hand sometimes, but usually work it out. She just became a completely different person when she moved, and I mean that in a good way. So now, I'm trying to figure out if she really loves me and will be faithful. Now for some comments. Bipolar and depression can be relieved with medication, but it will be a lifetime issue and it certainly doesn't take a great deal to offset the balance at any given time. Plus her family history, I would be treading very warily. I doubt she'll be faithful to you. She'll find someone else. Sorry, but this is a bad situation. She's unlikely to be faithful to you. And her current devotion to you will probably end. I don't think this will turn out well for you. Uh, no, of course you can't trust her. Why would you even think that? Bipolar plus established cheater equals absolute bottom of the barrel life partner. If one bad argument leads her to cheat, then it's time to leave.